Welcome back guys to another Slime Isakai Memories video and today we'll be talking about Hero Jubilee and how does it work. Mainly you're going to be starting out with normal battles and what it, this is going to do, you're going to be able to see your current rank which is 3518 or whatever number it is and you're, it's going to say top 20% or so and basically you'll be starting at beginners and what you have to make sure this is a cumulative high score addition battles. So. What you'll be able to do, there's a set amount of max amount of points that you're going to be able to get into stage. And this is going to be a cumulative. So this high score number, it will accumulate all your maximum scores per stage. Now basically, few tips that I want to give out on this Hero Jubilee is max out your beginner, max out your normal, max out your ex expert. Since I've already gone and done it first time, it didn't really matter. It didn't really matter for me. But later on, as for free play players, if you guys do want to be at par or like at least challenge for a couple positions then make sure to come to max out the expert stages normal battle one two and three mainly that's gonna be it for the normal battles there's gonna be also gonna, gonna be boss battles you can you can max out the boss battle one max out the boss battle two and max out the boss battle three if you box battle three is mainly for kind of whales type of stage because it's mainly about power since the since the boss has a lot of health, then that's an issue. And also, a few things that I do want to point out for this Hero Jubilee is that this character is light, so you'll be using the Dark Elemental characters that were featured earlier this month, November, which were the Dark Rimuru, the Diablo, the Xion Protector Unit, and also the Vodora, if you have him, Beretta as well. And mainly things that I do want to say is that this character, there's going to be a couple of one or two turns that he does have counter so one thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that you should skip those and only use the specials for those counter counter um, counter turns he also does stun so the dark Rimuru does have a stun ability evasion one so you should be using that whenever there'll be a there'll be a guide after this video and you guys giving me a, a bit of time between Friday and Saturday to make a full-on guide on how to how to accumulate the most amount of points on box battle X letting you guys know a description of what turns are favorable what turns to you know use this certain ability and all that so give me that give me time I'm just explaining to you guys how it's working and the accumulation of this, this points, which is mainly score 30,000, 30,000, and as you can see, I got just 5,000. So I assume the cap is 30,000 points, is the accumulation of all the points together. Boss Battle EX is mainly very hard because he stunned the first time that I did it. He countered a lot. If you guys if you guys do, do like a, a six combo, he 100% counters the attack. So he will counter you six times, and that takes a big chunk of your health, which could easily kill a character or heavily damage a unit plus if you're only going with your dark units and no healers then this is definitely hard without them so I suggest if you want to have a higher score or have a long-term battle that you go with a healer and you go with a stun evasion character as well as you do not attack on your on those counters and only use the specials within those counter turns so how they will fare up as of now, well, currently we are at 3,500. You can, oh, wow, did not expect a crash in the game, but I just wanted to show the leaderboard. They said they'll be taking a long time to implement Hero Jubilees to detect the, their flaws and all that, which is currently working very well. The gameplay has been very smooth. The stage progression has been so far so good. But one thing I do wanted to talk about was they wanted to implement a detection detection system, which detected cheaters, people who used other devices, third party, and all that. And mainly, if you look at the, if you look at the, you know, quest leaderboard for Jubilee Jubilee ranking, and you go look, have a look at your ranking. There's always going to be max set out besides the EX, but as you are able to see right now, it's looking very well. I'm not gonna lie. I do have 157,000, so it is a bit worrying that the first top two characters or top five and whatnot, I do not know them. But if you guys do look at their profiles, you can check it out. 
and you can see that their citizens and great stage are a bit lower than usual if you have a look at those so it could be warring we do not know what teams are using they're using we cannot report them I don't really we cannot really report them without any evidence but just wanted to let you guys know for example this is definitely a cheater like great sage level 5 citizen 720 this guy is definitely cheating so there's no report button but I'm sure hopefully their detection system is as well is really really good to how they put it out and notice and that's why they delay it of course but without further ado guys if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a comment in the comments below what do you guys think so far and as always if you guys did enjoy this video please drop a like subscribe for more slime and camera memories content and i'll catch you guys on the next one take care bye bye